senior transport bureaucrats have been grilled over the ongoing dramas with Queensland Rail. The budget estimates hearings have been anything but boring, with some MPs chastised for pulling stunts. State political reporter Josh Bavis has this story. Some MPs couldn't believe it when the member for Callard whipped out his measuring tape in the middle of proceedings. A disgusting yeah, member display. For, member for Callard, that's, that's inappropriate. You please put that away. He just wanted to know the size of a proposed Lang Park grandstand sign they had been discussing earlier. I wonder if you could advise us how big the sign was because the Premier had said that it was one small panel but we understand that it was 12 metres long. But higher on the agenda for the opposition was the state of the Queensland Rail Network. After another year of ups and downs, MPs got to ask other questions they had been saving. The date, an approximate date when the existing chaos on the passenger network will be fixed. Then there's the ongoing costs to fix the driver shortage and train delays. What we've seen is that uh, over 95% of our services are running on time. Steve Minikin pressed to find out how much it's costing just to bring in private consultants. Can you advise this committee of the number of Deloitte consultants working within Queensland Rail? Uh, so the costs in the last financial year for Deloitte uh, will be $15.37 million. And the government's just announced the terms of reference for its upcoming inquiry into the botched $4.5 billion new train fleet. The LNP is concerned the focus will just be on the years before Labor took over. On the last day of the hearings this week, rogue Labor MP Joanne Miller made an appearance after previously being curtailed by her party. True to form, she didn't hold back. One of her questions pointed directly at Ipswich Council. If the department can investigate any private emails used by Ipswich City Councillors for official purposes and I table the um, media reports in relation to Councillor Paul Tully who has been using mm. Ipswich City Council at gmail.com. The rest of her questions were more broad. So the planning has been a disgrace. Honestly, all we want is a straight up answer. If it's on the never never, tell us. And I told them that was hogwash. Those were taken on notice. Josh Babis, ABC News Brisbane.